Good morning to everyone. Today we are going to discuss the next topic from fourth module that is macro process. First, what is macro? Macro is an instruction, a symbol or a label that will be used to represent some set of code. And macro processor is used to process these macro statements. And it will be used when the program is being translated from assembly language to machine language. During that process, macro processor will come into role and it will process all the macro statements used in the program. So that is the purpose of macro process. So now we are going to start with the whole topic. So our objective of macro processor topic is that programmer will be able to write some small module program based on macros. And the topic that we are going to discuss is introduction regarding macro processor. What will be the basic macro processor functions? machine independent macro processor features and macro processor designs options available. So first concept, the idea behind macro processor concept. So first uh, these macro instructions provide a way to a programmer that programmer can write a shorthand version of a program. Means Programmer need not to focus on whole program together at once. Programmer can work on small versions of the program. Programmer can create small, small modules and give some label to that code, give some label to that modules. So that will be called the macro. And macro processor we will replace this code we replace this module in place of macro call. Wherever in the program macro call statement will occur, Mac macro processor will replace that call statement with this module program, with this shorthand version of program, wherever required. And this process is called expanding the macro, expanding the macro instead of where the macro call statement will occur. Processor will replace the call statement with the definition of macro. That is the main concept behind the macro processing. So what the main thing processor will do? From the previous slide, what the thing processor will do? It will first recognize the macro definition, means it will see where the macro definitions are there in the proof. Then it will save it into a buffer or small memory, that macro definition. Later on, it will go through the whole program and recognize where the macro call is being used, where the macro call is there corresponding to the macro definition. Okay, if processor will found any call, it will expand that macro call. Expanding, it will replace the, that macro call with that definition. So this is the concept. This is the function of macro processor. But main disadvantage of using macro is that it will, it will uh, increase the size of how like Every time processor will keep on replacing the function call statement, macro call statement with the macro definition. So it is keep on copying the function, macro definition again and again wherever the macro call will be there. So it will result in increasing the program size. So this is the process. These are the things, all steps that macro processor will do when it is working with macros definition. So here first source program will be there that will have macro statement also. Then it will go to first macro processor. 
macro processor will do all the recognition saving recognizing macro calls and then it will expand the code expand means now after uh, macro processing the program will have all macros definition instead of macro call and that code will be given to compiler or assembler to convert that code into machine code or we can say create a object file that will be ready for execution so this is the concept behind macro processor so basic macro processor function that is the second topic so in that first thing we have somehow discussed that first function of macro processor or main function of macro processor is recognizing the macro definition and then expanding so first function is macro definition and expansion second is macro processor algorithm and data structure that is the part of this topic that we will discuss how it will work how it will perform its function the algorithm and what data structure it will use to perform its function so first macro definition and macro expansion as i told you macro definition in that we will define the set of statement we will give a name to that set of statement as a label and that definition will have some parameter and that parameter will be started will be defined by using ampersand symbol for every parameter we will put ampersand symbol and each parameter will be like differentiated by putting comma in between so that is macro definition means we will first write the name of macro what will be the parameters that macro will receive and that parameter as i told it should be prefix with ampersand sign divide uh, and two or more parameter will be differentiated by putting comma in between and later on we will put our body of macro and the instruction that we want to put inside the macro and after that we will end this macro definition with the statement and and okay we will end this statement with and and so this is how we can define a macro then macro expansion macro expansion means expanding wherever the call will occur the code of macro definition will be replaced with function call so that means we were we are expanding the function uh, macro call here so we will discuss see like here one code is there okay this is our source code before expansion okay in that using macro keyword we started we define okay from here our macro definition will start and name we have given string s t a r g and in that in that we have taken three data terms and they will get valued data one data two data three and then we have ended the macro with m m okay now the name of macro is strg okay so later on in the program in the source file we are putting only the name of macros that means we want to call macro here we are not mentioning the data we are not mentioning any data here we are not mentioning okay this uh, like here also that this macro is receiving any parameter on here with this macro call we are passing in this example we are not working with parameter okay so here we are calling this now so when on this side it will get expanded it will get expanded so instead of macro call this whole code will be placed this three statement 
inside macro body these three statement will be replaced with macro call so see here they have also one macro call is there and it will be replaced by macro definition so this is the uh, main functionality the first most uh, functionality of macro process now if you uh, think like uh, this subroutine or function you you used to create or you are working with function in uh, some other languages like c c++ you are creating functions according to your requirement macros and functions or you can say subroutine have some uh, relation but they are different there are so many difference between a macro and sub like both are having some similar concept like we we are uh, wherever the function call will be there we will use the definition of that function or we will use the definition of map the basic idea behind both macro and subroutine is that one function call or one macro call will be there and then that call statement will occur we will use the definition but difference is there that macro in macro the fun, uh, macro definition will be placed at every function call but in subroutine definition will comes only once it will be defined only once whenever the call to subroutine will occur control will be moved from function call to its definition that is the main difference between a macro and sub as i told basic concept behind macro and subroutine is same like call will be there and we will use some definition but difference will come when that definition will be used and how that definition will be used in macro definition will be placed at every a uh, function or macro call but in subroutine control will be moved from function call subroutine call to definition so that is the statement of extension are generated each time the macros are involved but in subroutine the statement in subroutine appears only once the statement the definition okay So we will discuss in detail also what will be the difference between the macros and sub. As I have already told, macro call is an instruction to replace the macro name wherever. Like we have discussed in one example also in previous slide, wherever the name of macro will come in that place, macro definition will be placed. but whereas in subroutine calls or you can say function call instruction to transfer the program control to the subroutine definition with all the parameter it required means whenever a call will occur to subroutine control will be transferred from the wherever currently the control is from that to the subroutine definition and with that some parameter will be passed if required okay like the second point is it will result in macro extension and subroutine call will result in execution means whenever macro call will occur it will be extended but whenever function or subroutine call will occur it will result in execution of function definition okay so macro extension increase the size of program that i already told the main disadvantage of using macro but subroutine does not affect the size of program because we will only define the function definition only once and it will be called many time as required and macro expansion does not affect the execution speed in comparison to subroutine subroutine may affect the speed of the program now parameter substitutions means how parameters will be passed how parameters will be used 